Michael, we believe that God has called and appointed that you would be the pastor of Living Hope Church of Christ in Kabulcha. We join with you in rejoicing that he has called you by the voice of the church to serve him in this fellowship, uh, this fellowship of believers and the wider community. So before we ask you the 20 questions, no, they're not 20 questions. Uh, would you spend a few minutes giving us a bit of background about where you've been in ministry, you and Nolan? Well, we've had a wild journey, haven't we? It's been great. Uh, yes, yes, we've had a few few different ministry appointments uh, around Australia, which has been very exciting. We were country Victoria, Perth, WA, up in Mackay for a number of years, uh, down in Tassie for a little while, uh, helping a church out there and supporting my parents, which has been exciting. Uh, working uh, within the, the church, working within the community, seeing people uh, grow and develop, which has been very exciting. I've uh, been back up here in Brisbane, uh, supporting David and the team at Rivers for the last couple of years and doing some exciting things like gardens and caravans and food hampers and helping and caring and feeding for people. Uh, as you know, I've popped up here and preached uh, a number of times and got to know you all and really felt a great connection with you. And I suppose Noel and I have been thankful throughout our ministry life for the doors of opportunity that God has opened to us to to minister to those within the church and those outside the walls of the church that are doing it hard and struggling and, and need a friend and a listening ear and to need and need to know really the true love and power of Jesus Christ through the power of His Spirit. And so we love to connect with people. We've certainly enjoyed the warm welcome that you've given us and connected with you over these last months uh, as we've uh, popped in and shared with you and, and now have the opportunity to be your pastor officially and we've been invited to do that by the elders and by the affirmation of you, the church here, which has been very exciting for us as God has opened that door, uh, which we were very excited about and, and really felt that God was, was leading us in that way. So thank you for that. Hi. Yes, <laughs> <that's my job. laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's lovely having our children here, Emily, Sarah, Josiah, and Isabel to share our day, and my father in law, and many of my close friends, and people from different churches and places that that are, are uh, connected with us along the roads of life. So thank you for coming too. So it's great to see you all here. For those uh, just who don't know me, I'm representing, uh, I'm no longer the pastor at Rivers Church of Christ. So I, together with Andy, am representing uh, the Council of Churches of Christ in Queensland. We uh, sit on council together. Michael, you are called to be a servant and a shepherd in this community. It's your work to preach Christ's gospel, to call people to repentance, to assure them of God's mercy, to baptise, to teach, to inspire, to encourage by word and example, to give into the people you are entrusted to care for. You will lead them in worship. You will celebrate communion together. You will join in life together. You will take Christ, the Good Shepherd, as your example. Caring for his people and serving them as well as being a witness to the wider community. Doing the work of an evangelist. Bringing the gospel to those who have not heard it or experienced it and leading them to Christ. Will you commit to serve this community of believers, Living Hope Church of Christ here in Kabulcha, serving and partially caring for them? I will. Will you study and proclaim the word of God and be a faithful preacher in this gathering of God's people and be a prophet of God to the world? Yes, I will. Will you commit to leading people to Christ and into growing as disciples of Christ? I'm going to do. So I call for the elders of the church and uh, others who might like to come and pray with uh, Michael and Nola this morning. Anybody can come, that's quite okay. Uh, don't rush me all at once. <laughs> true God, the ever-living God, the one who's created the heavens and the earth, the one who knows us every fibre of our being. 
thank you for making yourself known to us. In every age, you have chosen servants to speak your word and to lead your people. We thank you for Michael and Noah. We thank you that you've called Michael here to serve you. Fill him. Fill him with your Holy Spirit. Anoint him with the power from on high. And give him gifts for ministry in this place. We would pray that he will have the same mind as that of Christ Jesus. To be a faithful disciple. To be an example to the people of God. And witnessing before the world. Place your hand of anointing and power on Michael and Noah as they continue to partner together in the witness that you have called them to be. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. Go, be his disciples, be his witnesses, be his servant in this place. In Jesus' name, amen.